Yo, what's up guys, it's Joe here coming with another tutorial, I haven't been doing this for a while, but still, we're still doing it anyway. But um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do kind of colour lines, so like, um, for example, right here, like my, one of my edits right now. Um, so, it's kind of these lines, those ones. So, it's really easy guys, so I think there's only going to be like a short tutorial, but it'd be really helpful for you guys as well to experiment as well. But yeah, uh, let me get into the tutorial. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get your normal cinematic or your clip, whatever you wanna do. Uh, let's just mark these out. So I'll just show you the same song. Um, but uh, if you wanna see the edit, it'll be in down in the description. Also, the song will be in that edit. So if you go to press the link in that song, it'll be a link link that edit. You'll go to the song link if you wanna see that. But um, I might just put it on the video anyway. So uh, anyway, I'm just gonna mark these out. So just press M in your keyboard. Um, so what you're gonna do is 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 oh I didn't mark that out very well. Um, so we're gonna do is basically start off of you know like listen to the music or what you know. So I want that. Oh, that's my phone going off. So what you're gonna do is go to your pan and crop. Uh, so if you got you got it up. Uh, let's start from the beginning. So let's try and go to mask. So what we're gonna do is get this little square like creation thing, so like a little square thing, and then do whatever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna do mine about here, and to get the right size all the time, I'll show you guys in a second. So look, like if I about there, and what I'm gonna do is put um, feather type on both. Just basically put the feather up to about about seven point or five, about five. And what you're gonna do is go to the song here, and then go on this bit. Just go, just click away that bit of the other beat is. And what you're gonna do is um, press one back in the frame, and then just basically copy that <laughs> and paste it down. So it's the same place it is. So oh, wrong bit actually. <laughs> Being a bad tutorial here. Right, let's go copy. Your mask, and then paste there one frame back. There we go. And then to move it, just move it like wherever you want. If you want to make it easier for yourself, just press this so it goes sideways. Going to go sideways. And let's put one here. And let's go to the next point, one frame back. I'll show you how to get the background at the same time as well. So. Don't worry about it at the moment, just do this at the moment. So, um, what you're going to do is a one, I've gone one frame back. Again, just copy this one, the bottom one, paste. There you go, you got the same thing. And then you're going to go one more up. Yeah, you can just cut it and that, but this is like an easy way. And also, I'm going to show you guys how to do like how to do the effects. So, uh, let's move it about here. And then. Go to that frame, back one, uh, copy, oh, let's do that again, <laughs> go there, back one, and then paste that, and then uh, you go one forward, and then you, wherever you want to go again, so I'm gonna, I might just go back to where he was here, and then, uh, yeah, and then you start from there, but we're gonna go to the effect first and I'll show you how to like put the capacity down by using the masking thing so I'll show you that in a second so you've got that once um, and also you want to just press this press yes so um, that will bring up see so you can't see it so it'll just bring up the effect like that um, so what you're gonna do is go to your plugins and then what you're gonna do is go on your Sony one, whatever you want, and then go to your color like thing. So you color corrector secondary, and what you're gonna do is go on cut. I can't even say what that is, but still that thing there, <laughs> and then uh, animate it. So you're gonna go all the way back. Let's go on like red. Let's go red or oranges, and then you go one for like all the way to that marker. One back. And then you're gonna just just move it so it's at the keyframed. Then the next one you're gonna change color. So let's go about blue. And then you're gonna keep doing it, guys. Just keep doing one frame back, and then uh, 
do that. So it's the same color, and then one frame forward, and then you're gonna do a different color. Let's do about greenish, and then let's go all the way to the uh, that marker, one back. We're gonna move it just slightly so it's the same color. Then go up once, and then change it to like whatever you want. And then you're gonna go over here, just leave it, and just you know, just leave this now. But you can move it to maybe leave it. You can do it different colors, like multicolor kind of thing, if you wanted to. But it's your choice. Um, I'm gonna get off this now, and you've you basically just got this effect at the moment, like so like that. But you want to make it look like it's like fading away in the same time. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go back to your pan and crop. And basically, you got this capacity here. You're gonna go one frame back. The capacity at zero. So this thing, this marker here, put it in zero. Do it with all the other markers. So zero, and then zero. Yeah, the only the frame back put go to zero. And then you're gonna do it over here. Just put the capacity to zero. And then basically, you get the effect like this. So yeah, that's how you do like color stripe kind of like effect. Um, it's really easy guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will um, check out my other tutorials in the description. So yeah, I love you guys so much and also peace out.